Hey there, I'm Swami. Welcome back to this solidity series where I am documenting my learnings and sharing what I learn. So this video is all about functions in solidity. So we'll start with just how to write a simple solidity function. I'll show you some tricks that our solidity functions have that you can use. Then we'll go into what is pure, what is few functions, and at last we'll see how do you do function overloading and overriding. So after watching this video, you will know all about functions in solidity. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the remix ID. Uh, so let's start by just making a new contract. Uh, let me call it just functions dot soul usual stuff. Start with the license solidity compiler version. Nice. And then I'll just uh, make a new contract and I'll call it functions because we're going to talk about functions. So let's just name it functions, right? Okay, so first the basic syntax of a function in Solidity. This is how it's written. So first you write the function keyword, then the name of the function. Let's uh, let's just name it get var, then parenthesis, and then uh, you write here what is the uh, visibility of this function, right? The, either public, either private, or external or internal. If you don't know in, uh, what these are. Uh, this will be discussed uh, in the next video where I discuss visibility of functions. For now, I'm just going to use public, which basically means uh, that this function can be called by anyone. It's going to be public, then it is going to return. So if a function does not return anything, you can just uh, do this and your function's basic syntax is over and you can write start writing a function from here. But uh, I want to return something. Right. So first I'll just uh, quickly make a variable u into 56. Let's just do it a private variable. Um, I'll call it a is called sec3 and then I want to return it. So if you want to return something from the function, you got to write returns. This function returns the data type of the value that is being returned. So I want to return this a variable which data type is u into 56. So I'll just write that and here uh, inside the function, I'll just write return a and boom your function is over now so if i just save it cool so we got a warning okay so here we go we have a warning which says that uh the function state mutability can be restricted to view right uh, so basically it is telling me to use a view keyword here and why is that happening that that is because if a function in solidity is just uh, reading from the state reading from the state and not modifying it then uh, it is a view function state of this contract is a right this variable right so if you see this function whatever we are doing here we are not modifying the state we are just uh, reading this the value of a which is the state variable and i'm just returning it so i'm just reading it right i'm not modifying it right so if, for example if i just modify it a is equal to let's say i'll say five uh, the, it will show me an error right? okay so if i just save it now uh, you'll see this red error and it will tell you that uh, cannot be declared as view because i just modified it and a view function is only a function which which reads from the state does not modify it so if i just remove this now and save uh, we will be fine right so that's basically a view function and I'll, I'll discuss what's what's a pure function later when i use it in just a minute but now this is basically a syntax of a solidity function right um, now uh, what if there's a function which needs some parameters to be passed in for example what if you just want to uh, make a sum of two variables and return it uh, what if we write a function for that so uh, let's just write a function so let's say uh, sum and it, it needs to have two parameters i need to just add two uh, get two variables from user and I need to add it and return it. So this is how you do it. So in the parentheses you as in any language I will just declare two variables. Um, let's call it just AA and BB and uh, yeah basically that's it. This will be public uh, and it returns uh, UN56 right because if you sum it the sum will be a integer variable right so you into 56 and boom you're done uh, so this is basically when you write uh, want to make a parameterized function uh, this is how you do it right and now user will be able to pass things into it and i'll deploy it and show you how how it looks cool so here i'll just do return aa plus 
bp and function body is over and i'll just save it it will show me warning right and the warning says that the function state mutability can be restricted to pure right now it says me to uh, use pure right why is that right we we learned about view now what about pure right so pure is a function which neither um, neither reads from the state neither reads nor uh, modifies the state right so if you see this function this function is neither a uh, reading from the state nor it modifies it right so if you see this a a and b b these are not a state variables they are just some variables that this function is just uh, taking as parameters right taking as arguments uh, but these are not uh, uh, these are not our state variable our state variable is just a and we are neither reading it here we are not using a anywhere here and we are nor modifying it so if that's the case this function is a pure function you need to mention a pure here right so if you now save it everything should be fine and yeah everything works so that's basically a simple syntax of a solidity function right so if i now just go and deploy it and we see here uh, we'll see this uh, get var function right uh, if i click it uh, there you go three i'm returning this variable right here a cool and in sum you'll see it is expecting two uh two integers right so i'll just do two comma let's say 10 and if i just click on sum there you go 2 plus 10 12. Uh, so that's basically the syntax of a function in solidity and the difference between a pure and a view function which is very important uh, cool so now that we know the syntax of a function let me show you some tricks uh, that this uh, solidity function can perform right? cool so now i just wrote a function uh, i call it hello right the name is hello it does not take any parameters but it's a pure function right and this returns three things right two integers and a boolean so if i just do uh, return uh, let's say one five two integers and false right so this should be work in solidity right so if i save it it gets compiled we get a green tick and if we deploy it uh, there we go and if i just click on hello uh, there we go we have two integers one five and then false so basically you can return uh, you know multiple things at once in solidity now there's another cool thing in solidity such that uh, if even if you don't write a return statement in solidity you can return uh, things so let me show you how to do that so what i can do here in solidity is that to this returning things i can give them names right so i'll, I'll name it uh, let's say x i'll name this y and of course i'll name this z right so if i do that and and i'll just write x is equal to for y is equal to 6 and oops, and z is equal to true right um, so this x and y are integers so I give it 4 and 6 and z is basically I want it to true I want to return it right one must be thinking that simply you just have to write a return statement here with xyz but no if you are mentioning the names of variables in the uh, returns uh, parenthesis and you are assigning anything to them right uh, then you are just implicitly returning it in solidity so if i save it i will just delete this deploy it again and now if i just click on hello right there you go we have four six and true and you can see the names also of variables they are associated to so x is, is four y is six and z is true so that's something you can do in solidity right um now let me show you another thing so i just wrote this function called get values it's a public pure function so what i want to do in this function is that i just want to call this hello function and as it is returning me multiple things but i don't want multiple things i just want the first variable and the last variable of whatever it is returning me uh, so how do i do that so of what is obvious is we obviously want to call hello right so i'll just call hello here and here i just want to get the first variable and last variable i don't want this middle variable so how do i do that is this is a 
very simple thing uh, this is called destructuring uh, in programming and it is done in many other languages for example in python too so what i'll do here is that i want to store these things somewhere right so i'll just declare a new variable d to store the first thing then i don't want the middle guy right so what i'll do here i just i'll just not write anything here i'll just do another comma it's sort of like i'm skipping the next uh, thing that's going to return i don't want to save it anywhere and it just implicitly uh, means that and then i'll just do bool uh, let's say q right uh, so yeah that's basically it so what this means is that when i call hello uh, this is what is going to be returned to me right four six and true right but i don't want the six so what i'll do here is that i'll just you know mention nothing i don't want to store this i'll just do another comma and i'll just skip to uh, true directly from four and i'll just not consider six so six will not be stored anywhere and i will just get one and two which i want and then i'll just basically return this variables t and u and boom my function should work so if i save it saved it uh, delete this deploy and now if i just call uh, get values which is this function i should get four and true there you go four and true so six we are basically skipping and this is called destructuring whatever we are getting as a return we are destructuring and destructuring it and storing it in individual uh, things which you want to store right so that's some things of solidity that i just wanted to show you regarding functions and now let's go to a really important topic the last topic of this video that is function what is function overloading and what is function overriding right cool so first we'll do overloading because it's uh, simple need what is overloading so overloading basically means that if there will be another function in the in a class or in solidity in a contract right if there will be another function with the same name but if it has different number of parameters like here we have two right so what i'll do is i'll just copy this function and i'll show you what overloading is now so let's say this is the function right this is the function so if in a contract we have two functions with the same name but what i'll do is i'll just change the number of parameters here so i'll take another parameter in here and i'll do this right so here i'm calculating the sum of three variables right? so the doubt here if someone is encountering this function this this contract sorry with uh, without knowing overloading he will say okay wh why is there two sums this should not work this function should be error but it will not because of this concept of overloading right uh, so you, what overloading means is that if there are two functions with the same name but have different uh, number of parameters like here we have three but we have two or we have different uh, type of variables even though the number is same for example uh, if i save this you'll see this is fine right Combal sign or i can also have the same number of parameters but uh, but if i just do your bool then also this will not give me an error let's just remove this because i can't add the bool and aa right so if i just save it everything should work fine i just have a small warning here uh, it's just due to unused parameter i'm not using b anywhere right so that's why uh, but thing is this works right so that's the thing with overloading or if the if the name of the function is same but we have different number of parameters or different type of parameters then we have basically two different functions and we can call both of them individually they will act as different functions according to the number of parameters passed or the type of variable passed and we will see that now so if i save this and i will now deploy it right um i'll delete this deploy and we'll see we have two sums we'll have two sums right but the due to overloading this works because one sum is expecting two uh variables as you can see a, a and b b so i'll write two comma five and if i click sum it will give me sum so when i am passing two variables this is executing but here it is expecting three variables so if i am writing two comma five plus two again so it should give me nine uh, there we go nine 
because it's now this got triggered so that is called overloading you are basically overloading this function with another function with the same name right so that is the concept of overloading um now let's go to overriding okay so i just wrote this function called get number and it returns uh, me a number uh, integer uh, which is one so to understand overriding you need to know a concept called inheritance first and what it means in the context of solidity is that if there is a contract uh, a different contract uh, which is inheriting from a uh, from a different parent contract so there's a child contract and there's a parent contract the child is inheriting some properties from the uh, parent contract so this whole thing is called inheritance so because the child is inheriting properties from the uh, you know the parent so let me just show you that quickly so i'll just make a new contract here and i'll call it a uh, junior let's say so here's the skeleton of the junior contract now i need to do something to such that this junior contract inherits uh, all the properties all the functions and the variables whatever this visibility has right so to do that what you just have to do is that you just have to import that contract that you want to inherit from so this is uh, in this folder only so dot slash visibility dot soul and uh, i just have to write here after junior is uh, the name of the contract so visibility right so now uh, if I just save it, uh, there's an error here. Uh, I think it's due to the yes. Okay, uh, cool. So now it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna compile the junior dot soul just this. So uh, if you see this contract has uh, nothing inside it, right? It's empty. Uh, and I'm gonna compile it. It get compiled. Now I'll deploy the junior guy, right? Uh, you get to choose what to deploy. So ju junior, I'll deploy it. Um, now here you will see. Uh, even if there is nothing inside it we get a and get number and these a and get number is basically coming from this contract uh, the a which is public and this uh, function which is public so it's able to uh, inherit these things uh, from the parent visibility by just doing these two things as inheritance okay so now coming to what is overriding so here I'll just write a function okay so here it is get number the same name as uh, a function in its parent in the visibility get number in the child contract that is the junior uh, i'll also write this function uh, get number but it's returning 10. now the question interesting question is that if i deploy the junior contract uh, and as you know uh, even if i deploy junior uh, it has the functions of solidity so it also has the get number of solidity so and and, and then i and then i call the get number should i should it return me 10 or should it return me one right so that's a, a interesting question so that is what overriding is solving what overriding means is that uh, if the child has a function that is samed uh, that is named same as a function in the parent then if you call that function in the uh, child contract it will uh, that child contracts function will override the parents function right so basically which means that if you call get number uh, you will be returned 10 because this guy the child's get number will override the parents get number and that's basically uh, what is overriding now to implement that you just have to mention here uh, override and in the parent in the parent the function that you want to make overridable you have to just mention virtual right so if i do that we get a tick and now i will deploy uh, the junior guy right i'll just deploy it and uh, you'll see we have a get number as we had earlier and as you can see it gives me 10 right which is this child contracts get number so child what happened due to overriding is that the child contracts get number basically uh, is overriding the parent contracts get number now if i just uh, uncomment this and uh, just uh, save this compile this again um, and just redeploy it you'll see we still have the get number as you saw from because we are uh, inheriting the visibility and it has get number and if i click that as you have guessed uh, it will return me one right because uh, there is no function to override it uh, overriding happens between two contracts uh, due to a parent child relationship between them and uh, overloading happens just within a contract uh, if two functions have the same name so uh, that's uh, simply what overloading and overriding is i know it could be a bit confusing at first but uh, do let me know uh, did you understand it or not that's all about functions in solidity and hope you learned something and 
do let me know in the comments any thoughts that you have just uh, drop them down in the comments that would be really helpful and i'll see you in the next video till then have a great day and keep building